All right, hello everybody, this is Colin, and today I'm just going to give you a quick blender tip uh, that has to deal with the compositor and transparent effects when you try to save an image. Okay, so, uh, hopefully this will go fairly quickly. I've got this set up here, just real simple, I've got my render layer, I'm applying a glare, and I'm you know, outputting to the composite and the, the viewer here. Okay, uh, so first, let's, let me... It, just render a, a basic frame here. I could probably turn down my samples. Now what you'll notice is that the glare works fine. There's the glare on the Triforce piece there. Now if I go to transparent, which is what I want, I want to render this as a transparent image. Um, we'll render again, and what you'll see is that you, you won't see the glow. Okay, but it's it's a trick because it just doesn't show up in the viewer or the composite screen in the image viewer. So if you look at this button down here, you can switch, you can take away drawing the alpha channel, just draw the image with RGB. You can see that the glow information is actually still there. Okay, uh, but it's definitely not, like you, you can definitely see that it's not here. It's just uh, like the color data is there, but you just don't see the glow. Uh, but the data is actually there. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to save say you just are rendering a still for now. Uh, you're gonna save this image as, you know, whatever whatever you want. But you what you need to do is um, save it as an EXR. I tried to save it as a PNG, it just didn't work. Um, so this is the way I found out to do it. I've used the open EXR, definitely switch this to RGBA. Uh, and I'm going with float half just for my purposes. And that's it, that's all you really need to set. So you go ahead and save it. And to just kind of demo that this actually works, here's that file basically. And I've just put a new layer in the background so I can paint. And you can see that the glow actually works. Um, so that's it. That, that's really all you need to do is, is just trust that it's there. You're rendering transparent. You won't see it in the composition. You won't see it here. Uh, and yeah, and that's it. So if uh, just if you want some more information as a... Uh, what I'm doing is I'm rendering out just this little, um, you know, spinny Triforce thing, right? Um, and so what I wanted to do was make a video out of all these still frames. Uh, and it's actually really simple. Uh, if you use FFmpeg, um, all you need to do is output to a file format that, that supports um, transparent video. So an AVI or uh, a QuickTime movie and maybe one more, but those are probably the mo two that most people use. It does not work with MP4 in the H.264 um, format, codec format. So you just want to use the codec right here, codec video, PNG, uh, and you can just, it's a it's real simple commands. Again, I'm just setting the frame rate to 30, otherwise FFmpeg is default to 25. Uh, and this is just my input, and uh, here's the folder with all the renders and it just puts them all together and uh, then you get something like this uh, and the glow actually works so that's it um, happy uh, blendering and uh, thanks for watching